Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Big Flats, Texas, the Lone Star State, that's where we find ourselves today. This is by TK Farms, 114.79 megabytes to download. The map looks like this. Big fields, big country, big flats. On New Farmer, we start with Plot 2 and Field 3. We've just got the main farm on. Field prices, I have to say, considering the size of them, aren't too bad. 193 grand, 146 grand. These are for the sort of, I say, small, medium. Um, when we go up to the big ones, I mean, 624, 800, they're not as expensive as I thought they were going to be. Now, we do have some little plots around the, the uh, map, and these have got little um, farmhouses on. They don't have um, sell points or anything like that on, but you can buy them. So if you wanted to put a spinnery or you know other things on them, you absolutely can. But all the plots can be purchased. Uh, the main farm is an arable farm, but there is a cattle ranch, cattle farm, which we're going to get to in a moment. There is a train that runs east-west out to uh, Greenville, Texas. And what I will say about this map, from the description and from what I've looked at as I've gone around, is custom, custom, custom. There's a whole load of custom stuff on here. I don't normally do my map tours with season seasonal growth on, and but I have done this one. I should do more often, I think. Um, but it does say there's a custom crop calendar, which is always worth having a look at, if you know from my recent Let's Plays. Never assume anything. <laughs> Check your crop calendar. It does help. Uh, custom crop prices. Um, this is precision farming ready. It does have a custom soil map. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, the whole ton of stuff. We'll get around all of it. Um, we might as well talk about the slot count straight away. We start here at the, at the farmhouse with the sleep trigger. Slot count is 791 on new farmer. On farm management start from scratch that comes down to 559 because on farm management start from scratch you don't start with any of the buildings you see before you and you don't start with any of the start equipment and it will look like this. Now in the mode I'm in now on new farmer all the buildings can be removed. The cattle farm which we're going to get to in a little while as well you can remove all the buildings from up there as well. I got the slot count down to 545. You can probably get a little bit lower. I didn't take all the fencing out. Um, I mean, that's pretty low anyway, to be fair. There are collectibles to be found. There are 100, and they are worth 2,500 each. Um, you're going to see them as we go around. It's not like some maps where you can't really find them. You'll see them as we go around. So as I said, sleep trigger is just here. What we are going to do is set the harvester going on our field to our south. Now, this does say it has realistic wheat and barley, custom grass. We'll talk about what's in the... Um, in the build mode and what mods have been put in by the map maker in a moment but I wanted to kind of get the harvester going so we do start with a couple of augers the nice long one high one for putting into the bins and then the small one for taking out of the bins these are two 3608 these are standard grain bins from the game these aren't modded ones these will hold 980,000 litres each of standard crop types we come across to the first shed with some of our equipment in. Again, all base game stuff at the moment in here. Uh, if we come out of this one. To this shed here. For our sprayer, skid still loader. We've got John Deere there with the Braydale K105. Is it the 105? Or was it the 165? It's a braid hole. Uh, we've got these. Now, these are custom. Actually, you know what? I'll show you now. We'll go into here. If we scroll down to this point here, mods and DLC. So, Big Flats, Texas, we've got these two. So, we've got a, a mix, feed mix wagon. And that's uh, 50,000 litre capacity. And then we've got the manure spreader. That's also 50,000 litre capacity. So, they're modded. Now, as far as the feed goes, we do also have custom feed types in here. It says custom animal feed for sheep, cows, and chickens, which we'll talk about and have a look at uh, in a moment. I think it's down to the cows. You can feed them silage, so as well as your total mix ration, and it changes the percentages of what you need to feed them. Total mix ration will still give you the best thing, but it, it gives you a boost, um, which is quite impressive. The sheep will take... 
I think it's hay and silage to get their feed mix. So we've got some custom feed mixes in here. Um, it does say soybeans in a row as well. If we come out of there, so that's what you get in there. But if we go up to our own equipment, you'll see it as we go around. We've seen some of it already and the medium tractors. We've seen this one, but we've got the 6230. Uh, we have got a 7R350, we've got the lorry, again, you'll see all of these as we go around the yard. We've seen the planter and the disc harrow already, we've seen the sprayer, we've seen the fertiliser spreader. It was a 105, not a 165, I thought so. And the pickup we've already been in. So if we're going to build mode, and we'll start with sheds and scroll across to here. So we've got a load of custom sheds put in. Under contain there's nothing under silos or silo extensions but the contains out here on the end so we've got these two here stainless steel fertilizer tank and we've got the liquid fertilizer tank 100,000 litre capacity 200,000 litre capacity and that's what you can see in front of us and then under our farmhouses we've got the farmhouse so big flats texas mod then we've got under factories we've got all of these productions and you'll see some of those as we go up. So we've got a uh, silo for grass drying, so for making hay, fermenting silo for making silage, and we've got a TMR silo. We've got a large, and then we've got a small of each of those as well available. If we go from there to our animals, as you'll see the cows, we've got a custom one there. The standard one holds 15, these ones hold 100 each, and as you'll see for the feed types, uh, you've got time extraction, there's silage, there's oats, corn hay and water for the cattle pasture so custom there was nothing different about the horses or pigs sheep silage and hay and chickens you can have corn in there as well so as well as wheat barley and sorghum you can feed them corn as well for the chickens so that's custom under decoration we had one under fences just out there there's nothing under lights or others and then landscaping we've got some extra painting and texture so you can create a cultivated field straight away in bigger bigger chunks and sex sections plowed and we've got a few different texture states rolling through there through to riverbeds we've got a load of it does say extra trees it doesn't say they're custom but there's a a plethora so you can place sawmills there are plenty of sawmills knocking around um and there's plenty of sell points for that kind of stuff as well and you know so if you wanted to set yourself up with a little forest there and do some forestry you absolutely can and under plants, we've got a whole load of plants under the Big Flats Texas mod that you can use as well as the standard stuff as well. So, plenty going on. <laughs> as I said, custom, custom, custom. Uh, now, as far as... Oh yeah, that was the other thing. Planters and cedars. Let's go into here. Uh, will it show us under planters? There we go. So under our planters... And not cedars but under planters the planters will usually do your corn sunflower soybean sugar beet and cotton um, we can also do sorghum and canola with the planters so in this particular version slightly altered if you go into any of the planters we go up to here you will find all of them will do sorghum and canola as well as the normal planter crops if we go to cedars the cedars still do everything they did before, including canola and, and sorghum. It hasn't swapped them, it's just added them onto planters. Uh, that was something on my list I wasn't to forget. Um, what else? I'm trying to think now. Like I say, custom. Uh, oh yeah, the harvester. We'll get on with that in a minute. Oh yeah, oats. <laughs> oats can be mowed. So in their last growth stage, before they're ready to harvest, you can mow for grass. So you can mow oats i think that's why it was showing oats for some of the animals to be fed as well but that's only the final growth stage and you can't hire a worker to do that actually we'll check mowers i'm not sure it will say but no but it definitely says it oats can be mowed for grass in last growth stage cannot hire a worker for this so in here Another John Deere's, we have our lorry. A trailer for the lorry was in the other barn, but what we are gonna do is grab the harvester. For the next thing I wanna show you. Workshop trigger is just there as well. As we swing around here, 
We've got three more bins. Now these are 3609s. The other ones were 3608s. These are 3609s. These are 1.1 million litres each. So the other ones were 980,000 litres. These are 1.1 million each. So 3.3 there. We have a collectible. The 100 collectibles are not worth 1,000. Did I say it already? They're worth 2,500 each. So a potential for 250 grand extra on top if you find them all. Trailer there, let's grab the header. I don't want to straw stuff on, let's take that off for the time being. We'll get this running. Now I know people will make, well, I say I know, I always have to think ahead of what people might comment and what people might say. Um, so I will mention it, but let's get that going. We'll hop out. We'll go and grab one of the tractors. Because what we also have is a more realistic stubble kind of situation. I say more realistic, we have a custom stubble situation. Old fuel tank there as well. So, added the ability to destroy harvested ground stalks when driven over. Now, obviously, the harvester header is cutting. Behind that, you've got tracks and you've got wheels. So, technically, Yes, the harvester should be doing the same thing, but it's not. It doesn't matter. But, as you can see, we get our stalks on the ground, prickly, horrible things that can cause punctures and all sorts of things. And obviously, we, you would then mulch that. But if we drive across it... Now, I think you have to have crop destruction on for this to work. You might not have to, but I've got crop destruction on. So, as you can see, as we're driving across... How cool is that? Nice touch. I like that. So, yes. You can damage, destroy stubble on the fields by driving over it. Now, I don't know if that counts as mulched. I'm not sure. Shall we check? Let's go across. Doesn't hurt to have a look. No, it's not showing as mulched. So we still need mulching. So that is the main farm. I'm gonna leave the harvest to go and why not? Let's grab the pickup. It's big and it's flat. Now it does say as well soybean is in did it say soybean? Soybean is in rows. Which a few maps have had that. Um, Yeah, there's a lot of driving. I say a lot of driving. It's, it's because there's not much between each um, place, and it gives you that real feel of expanse and openness. And you look across, it's just out to the horizon. You know, it's amazing. And it does feel like it just goes on and on, which is really cool. So as we drive up here, custom grass, you can see that as well. The meadow grass often has flowers and stuff in it. This one doesn't. So we come to our cattle farm. The cattle farm is just here. Now, to access this and to use the buildings and things like that, you do need to purchase this plot of land. So we are now here, which actually, for plot 10, with that field just to the south of it, it's not that expensive. 76,630. So if we buy that, and do that, we get each of these. Now, I said already, these hold 100. We've got eight of these, so we can have 800 cows, cattle, if you want to go for beef stock, or dairy you can these ones do have an option for showing grid so for placing you can see where they go because these fences don't come with this you actually get if we're going to build mode and go to demolish I can take all of the fences out if I want to the fences are in that fence section that I showed you so the pasture itself 
comes open with that. So that shows you where the outside of it is. So if you want to put fences or you want to put a building up to it or something like that, it just shows you where the grid for the animals is going to be. So they do require water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in. Just one, one lonesome cow. Oh, we'll put two in. Be unfair to have it on its own. I'll put it in the one that's got the big gaping hole in it, but not to worry. And if we come down to our animals, you will then see, so productivity, they require water, they produce milk, but then our effectiveness, toll mix ration gives you 110%, apparently. But then we've got silage, grain, and hay, because these will take corn as well. So you can just feed them silage. If you feed them silage, 90%, which is almost as good as standard toll mix ration. But if you give them toll mix ration, 110%. So we've got custom crop, uh, custom feed going on as well, which is very cool from here. We've got a large shed at the back. That's not a um, silage clamp. And the reason it's not a silage clamp is because uh, technically on here you don't necessarily need one. But we've got these silos, which you'll, we already saw under build mode. More collectibles. If we open up the barn space here, you will see the inside, the silos are kind of built into this. We've got this one here for doing top mix ration with a 400, 400, 200. So it's a one for one pretty much um, but you need less of straw than you do for the other two for don't making time ration this one over here we've got for doing our fermenting so we can do chaff silage grass silage hay silage or straw silage again one to one on those but look at the um the recipe or oh, not the recipe the cycles per month 144,000 cycles per month so although the recipe is not high the speed is um the time mix ration is a little bit slower but the recipe is a little bit higher so yeah, that will produce silage fairly rapidly. And then on the end, we've got our grass drying steel silo. Again, 144,000 cycles per month uh, grass to hay. And then we come through to here. Storage space with workshop. On the end, drive through. Move this bit of storage around the back here as well so that's the cow farm but it's good that it comes with the grass field behind it as well all for under 80 grand can odds that at all so there's no point me driving all the way to the north that is one another one of those little plots it's got, it's got a little farmhouse on it there's no sleep triggers when you buy them or anything like that it's just a little house but if you wanted your farmhouse to be somewhere else you want to be a farm worker when you come here and you don't actually live on the farm you can buy one of those little plots or like I said you can put sell points on them or anything like so what we're going to do we're going to head south there is a railway that runs along the bottom of the map or just above the bottom of the map but it goes east west out to Greenville we're heading over there to the southwest following the train tracks in a moment the railroad it does give you some idea of scale doesn't it it's just <laughs> contracts are available I meant to say that as well at the start contracts are available on this map um, so if you want to get some big old harvest contracts in or fertilising and stuff like that as they come up they pay out quite well in the 20s and 30s for you know, depending on what what um, contract you're doing obviously though that will depend on the size of field as well Texas flag on the buildings very cool and we come to AG or AG land um, transfer depot so this is a transfer silo putting into the silo is done here taking out of the silo is done there unless you're trying you can just use this as a silo you know you don't have to use the farm ones if you don't want to um, this will do regular railroad silo crop types so your regular crop types potatoes sugar beets sugar cane i think it does wood chip um, a couple of other things it does as well it doesn't do everything it's not full multi-fruit um, but if you want to transfer to the train you put it into the silo around that side and then you take out you bring your train down and you put it into here 
rent train is done here. Now I've done this already. I'm going to switch to another bit of recording. But what I'm going to do, because what I forgot, to, actually, you know, I'll, I'll rent a train. Um, I'll switch to the other Mr. CDP while I'm waiting for this to arrive. Um, because what I forgot to do in the other clip was show you the different crop types that the train will take. So we'll get the train coming and I'll hand you over to Mr. CDP. To the train then. Once rented and it arrives, it will look like this. Now, as far as I can tell, these tanks here don't take liquids. I have had a look and they don't come up with anything to say filling. I will show you what I mean. We'll hop in. I'll back up. So we get underneath the fill point for the transfer silo. So as you can see, once you get under there with this, it doesn't come up with anything for um, start filling or unloading or anything like that. So these ones, as far as I can tell, just decorative. However, where it says in the description about increased storage capacity of train wagons, if you look bottom right, you will see normally the, those carriages at the front, the ones that got wheat in and corn in, are about 90,000, 100 and something thousand. 250,000 litres each. So these ones here, 250,000 litres each. And then these ones here, the box ones, I've got potatoes in that one, 500,000 litres. So we've got more carriages, cars, however you refer to them, wherever you come from, going all the way back to there with a couple of the tanker ones on the back. Um, you'll notice well, there's no flatbed and there's no... Um, log trailer. Uh, I don't know if I will have mentioned prior to this when I record the actual rest of the uh, map tour. Um, there's no sawmill and there's not really a forest. There's no forestry to be done. So there's not really much point having a logging um, car on here because there's no logging. So uh, it's impressive I have to say. With the increased capacities with the larger fields, it kind of makes sense really to have a much larger capacity on it. So, uh, yeah, there we go. So, what we'll do Greenville is the destination. Let's close those covers. Last train to Greenville. all of it surely we had wheat oh yeah i suppose yeah wheat prices aren't that high are they we had wheat we had corn and then potatoes i suppose possibly anyway that's the train back to mr city p thank you mr city p good indication of the custom crop prices while the train is arriving the other thing i was going to show you which i spoke about but didn't then show you was the custom crop calendar i'll leave that up for a moment i won't talk through all of it but as you can see things are in different positions um something i did notice was the oats between the planting and harvesting quite a short gap from march and april planting to june july august and that could be because of the fact you can um in the final growth stage you can mow that for grass. So I'm assuming that's acting more like a grass crop. You'll still get your oats. So that's a fairly quick uh, growth cycle. But yeah, they're kind of dotted around the other place. You might want to take a screenshot or just take a bit of time to have a look at it. So I'll stop talking for a moment. Okay, so the train then. As you've already seen from Mr. CDP, but the thing I forgot to show you, if we open that first carriage, uh, we want to do that one and drive forward. You sure that you saw that we had and um, wheat and corn and potatoes, but what we will do is just stop there. So start filling. So wheat, barley, oats, canola, sorghum, grapes, olives, sunflower, soybean, corn, potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane, seed, chaff, wood chips, silage, pig food back to wheat again so those are all the things it will take 
I shall release the train and let it go. And we shall continue. So, custom train. Got the gas station, just there. And then we've got BF Grains. Big Flats Grains. This is gate one and gate two for selling. If you see on the floor, gate one, gate two. So depending on which sell point is saying you need to deliver to, make sure you put it in the right one. And as we move around, now these both say custom. As far as I can tell, the actual cycles to production is the same. I think the building is custom. So we've got the Big Flats Flour Mill, which is just here. And then we got the Big Flats Bakery, just over to the side there. Now this land can be bought as well, so um, if you're thinking about productions, um, put that back on crop types, about productions, or you want to put production chains or other buildings or sell points, like I say, there's the other plots here, and there's other bits around the map. Um, so you can purchase these plots of land, so there's, there's plenty of space here, so if you want to put some other production chains in, you absolutely can, it's nice and flat, so landscaping shouldn't be too much of a problem, shouldn't charge you too much on top. So from here, we're going to head up the western side of the map, we're heading north. I can stay in a straight line, that'd be great. Now, as I said, well, I say when I said, there are trees, there are, there is some woodland. It's not your usual forest crops or forested trees. So, as far as doing forestry goes, they're not the best. You can cut them down, of course you can. We can also use are the various different mods out there. There's the devourer. There's there's various different mulches that will turn them into wood chips and that kind of stuff. So, if you want to do some wood chipping, there are some plots with trees on, um, just not forestry per se. So if we turn in just here, we've got Lone Star Tractor, this is your vehicle shop, and our workshop trigger at the vehicle shop is here. This is also the reset point for the map, so if we need to reset anything it will reset here. Over the back here we've got Lone Star Goods, which is one of the sell points. And then whizzing around to the back. We've got Lone Star Bales. Just goes up the side there. We've got Lone Star Bales, which is just there. And then we've got the Animal Dealer, Lone Star Livestock, just there. And that is the map. We started there. We drove out there to the cattle ranch came down and across followed the railway railroad there to the transfer silo out there um to uh, bf grains then the flour mill and bakery with the gas station headed all the way back up there vehicle shop lone star goods bale sales and lone star livestock that's the map that's Big Flats, Texas by TK Farms. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.